So there's this thing that I'd kind of like to start doing with my channel. I think on Mondays, I'm going to make them a Mommy Monday day. And what that is, is I'm going to do a speed build. But why the speed build is going on, I'm going to do some kind of parenting, motherhood, some sort of kid-related talk while it's happening. I, I, I really think that that would be a really cool way to kind of engage with the community and kind of build that up, especially since, you know, I'm a parent. I'm sure some of you are parents. And I just, I don't know, I'm really, really in the mood to do something like that. But before we get into it, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. But that being said, today's topic of our first mommy Monday is going to be the first day of school because uh <laughs> it is upon us guys the first day of school apparently has come and it feels like it was literally just yesterday it was May and I was hearing about the last day of school and I blinked and now it's the first day of school again and it's already really hard for me to kind of keep up with the general school system because we homeschool and um, when I when I say homeschool I know a lot of parents have been kind of thrust into homeschooling because of the pandemic and don't get me wrong that is really really hard but um me and my family we've always homeschooled so we homeschooled pre-covid so yeah it I've never really paid much attention to the public school system so especially their times and times of doing stuff so it I don't know if that's why it feels like it's been so quick that you know it was just May and now it's August or what but it feels like it literally just happened for me not gonna lie our first day of school or our first day of school um was actually in june for, with us being homeschooling our school calendar runs from june to may so uh we have a whole year and really i kind of opt to do school work in the summer months because it is so hot outside guys i live in the middle of alabama okay it is so hot and so humid it's hotter than satan's butt crack outside right now not gonna lie so if me and my kids are gonna be stuck inside anyway we may as well be productive about it and do our schoolwork and then in the fall when it cools off we'll go outside and do some fun stuff but yeah and you know I've noticed that the pandemic since 2020 has happened and stuff like that I've noticed that it kind of affects how we do our schoolwork I'll, I'll I'll give you an example real quick these are pictures of my kids that I took back in 2019 of their first day of school. So this was June-ish 2019. Very, very cute pictures. I'm a photographer, so I actually got out my camera and we went on a little photo shoot and, you know, put some time and effort into it. I edited them and I'm in love with these pictures. Don't get me wrong. I love these pictures of my kids. But <laughs> this year, this year's back to school pictures. Here we go. This is them, okay? They were shot with my cell phone. They, I have not edited them at all and probably don't plan to. So you, you can tell the pandemic's maybe taking its toll a little bit. But what, what does our general homeschool day look like? Now, this is just me and my family. Every, every homeschooling family has a different way of doing things. But for us, we typically have been starting schoolwork in the afternoon because I kind of let the kids go outside and play in the morning time while it's a little bit cool, while it's, while it's just bearable, while it's just barely bearable. <laughs> I'll let them go outside and play some. But uh, then when they come back in in the afternoons and it's so hot outside, when they come back in, then we'll go ahead and do our schoolwork because we're stuck inside anyway. We may as well go ahead and get it done. Um, so, so generally, in the afternoons th this day that I happened to take these pictures we started doing schoolwork right after my kids got out of the bath which is how I ended up doing schoolwork with Professor Quirrell we do math we do science we do uh, social studies we do reading actually speaking on reading my five-year-old daughter loves to read Captain Underpants books so I'll let that I'll let her do that as part of her reading for her schoolwork I really don't care so much what my kids read as long as they're being adequately challenged. Like, I'm not going to let them, you know, 
read a book that's way below their reading level and they're not really getting anything out of it. But as long as it's at their level and they're being challenged, I'll let them read whatever they enjoy. I mean, as long as they're reading. Obviously, there will come a time when they'll need to read certain books, you know, for schoolwork and stuff like that. But right now, they're little. I'm just going to let them enjoy reading whatever they want. But just basic schoolwork stuff. We used to go to parks and homeschool groups. And we are still involved in a co-op, but it's kind of sporadically. It's like every other week or so. So it's nowhere near as active and involved as we used to be. Now, my three-year-old son, he does schoolwork also. He'll do, uh, you know, little workbooks and we'll do reading and stuff like that with him. But this particular day, after he did his schoolwork, I had come back into the office to try to record some videos. Well, yeah, no, he wasn't going to let that happen, okay? He wanted to to record some videos like mommy stole my glasses and everything so yeah that's that's what happened that day <laughs> but you know really that that's just our general overview of a single homeschool day but in general like the first day of school like I, I know that's stressful for kids you know because I remember when I was a kid and I, I homeschool my kids but I went to public school myself as a as a kid so I always remember waking up and having those a first day of school jitters and nerves like you know okay who's my teacher gonna be am I gonna like my teacher are there gonna be any friends in my class are is is the work gonna be too hard for me oh my gosh is this gonna be the year I fail I never failed by the well I did technically fail first grade but that's a whole different story but there just so many worries and and different thoughts that go through your head and then on the flip side of that I'm sure teachers have you know tons of worries and stuff going through their head too like you know uh, oh my gosh uh, how is this class gonna be am I gonna have any troublemakers am I gonna have great kids this year uh what what about my teaching plans this that the other how do I decorate the room am I gonna be able to afford the stuff I need for my class I mean Teachers have to shove out a lot of money from their own paycheck just to teach kids. And I mean, so do parents. I mean, just, you know, being honest, like we don't we don't go to public school, but, you know, I'll, I'll glance at the, you know, public school back to school list while I'm at Walmart, you know, just to kind of, I don't know, reading material, I guess. Like there's there's a lot you need to buy your kids going to school. It, it's expensive. Not to mention, you know, you need to buy them more clothes because somehow you always end up having to buy your kids more clothes I, I don't know what happens um they, they grow I am convinced there are little elves that sleep in my kids room that may that take their clothes in a, down a few sizes while they're asleep because I I don't see any other reasoning as to how they outgrow these clothes so fast but anyway you always have to buy new clothes you always have to worry about what kind of clothes you're buying and if they'll meet the dress code there's there's lunch boxes there's packing lunches there's public school lunches or private school lunches or whatever the case may be there's you have to buy 50 glue sticks for your kid which I still can't get my mind around that <laughs> um you know, there's that's a lot it feels like the back to school lists are more in depth and expensive now than they were say when I was a kid like what my parents would have to buy for me which I I, I find crazy it's a lot to do then there's the logistics of okay well how's how's my kids gonna get to school are they gonna take the bus or, or am I gonna drop them off who's gonna be there when they get home from school there there's a bunch of logistics it's like the first day of school just it, it, it kind of explodes everything the first day of school and the last day of school whenever there's a big change of routine at the same time I can imagine some parents are relieved they're like all right they're I'm getting my time back they're the kids are getting out of the house for a little while and then at the same time I imagine there's probably some parents like I don't know if I want to send my kids back to school this year with COVID I mean last year was bad I mean it arguably was 2020 was just we're, we're not going to talk about 2020, okay? Okay, no. Um, but, like, even this year, still, some of those worries and stuff, I can still see how those worries are there and can affect everyone. So, yeah, first day of school, it's a big topic. There's a lot we could talk about with this. There really, really is. It could go on forever. But, unfortunately, the speed build won't go on forever. So, I guess we can't talk about it. But, let me know down in the comments below what your feelings are towards the first day of school. Like, like is it is it something you worry about? Are you excited for it? What? How, how are you feeling about it? But, that being said, let's take a 
look at this speed build. Now, this build was, it was kind of a 70s inspired build for me. So that's kind of what I went with. So you come in, you have the wood paneling, a little, I wouldn't say overgrown, but very kind of a different type thing. I'm really excited actually that I got to use this plant. I have been wanting to use this plant in a build for a while now and just haven't found a build to do it in. But you come in and you have this kind of, oh, there's a mailbox in there. Ah, I guess I forgot to put the mailbox on the lot. Okay, there we go. Go. Now it's fixed. All right, so you come in, and I really liked this older style door, but you come in, and it's a very older type style house. So you've kind of got the older retro TV, bunch of orange and plants. I really loved how the bowling pack went with this 70s type feel. We've got older pictures. We've got a desk with no computer because there wouldn't have been computers back in the 70s. Uh, we have this kind of kind of retro looking kitchen, just kind of an old older style house very 70s and then coming outside I try to recreate kind of the conversation pit that was you know really really popular that time but I also wanted to have a hot tub because hot tubs were again really popular at that time so I kind of just combined the two a little bit and then we have a little you know mixology table grill and picnic table and then coming down we have a little sandbox for the kids to play in a slide and some swings so it kind of kind of finishes all off the family home this outdoor side is covered too though so even if it's raining your sims can you know come and hang out and you know what I kind of like it I don't typically build 70 style houses very often it was a little bit out of my comfort zone but I really had a good time with it but that is it for today's video again if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and I will see everyone next time bye